right now I'm on a struggle as far as trying to live right and do the right thing every day and not be distracted by um, everything that's happening on different social media sites and everything like that it happens very quickly and very often and we don't even notice how uh, much we begin to idolize or spend more time um, on certain things certain medias whatever that eventually start to take over our lives and I think it's very important that we say this because it, we we isn't me we say this because um, idolization happens so often so frequently and we don't really realize that's what it is when you spend the majority of your time on different things or doing certain things that take precedence over um, the more important things in your life one being recognizing and thanking and not acknowledging God for everything that he's done and how far he's brought you along and so it's been a struggle with me lately because I get so easily sidetracked and I'm trying to stop or find a better way to handle my boredom with it not being me going straight to social media instead pick up a devotional or and meditate on that or pick up a book read do something more productive that is more about investing in yourself in a way leisurely rather than ingesting or digesting the different uh, perspectives and finding something to compare your life to like most of us do on social media you don't want to do that because after a while it starts to you start to compare yourself to other people and some people become ungrateful they envy the others for being in a place in their life where they're not yet and that's an insult to God that you know like you're not even grateful for what you have or whatever you're not counting your blessings you count other people's blessings with which makes it all just jacked up right so I digress but I just think it's very important that I document this um, when it comes to um, just creating better habits in your life because you don't want to be feel like you're stuck and I feel like this past year is what happened to me I feel like I've been stuck in situations and a mental mindset so much that it's put me at a pause I feel just in progression period because I'm too immersed in social media or I'm too in too immersed in getting to a place with certain people where it's just just not happening period so you have to turn your focus on to the things that are more more productive for yourself and things that stimulate growth you know what I'm saying social media doesn't stimulate growth to an extent like it can it can be both good and bad but most it's mostly bad people go to social media for entertainment not to learn um, you know like not primarily to learn anything it's for entertainment period like whatever time killer again I just want to foot stump that you you need to make we need to make like better daily habits change our habits starting with the, the little things like okay I'm bored no I'm not gonna go to social media turn off your notifications you know what I'm saying um it's, it's a button on your settings where you can turn off those notifications so you're not so easily prompted like our minds are program so much that we are in our phones and the moment that we see a bubble pop up of whatever or the moment that we hit we hear a chime or whatever on our phones we immediately grab it we stop whatever we're doing we interrupt important conversations and all this and that to direct our attention to whatever is chiming or beeping or blowing up at us um, and it's, it can be very rude it can be very unproductive it can be very um, detrimental to like legit business and progressive relationship my point is 
I'm just trying to do better just starting with the smaller things and I just want to um, just just get better at it period with managing my time and not being so so caught up in what he or she is doing um, again life is it's not a race it's really not um, some people have gone through some things that have not been publicized and <clears throat> I probably don't ever want it to be publicized. Oh yeah, I can't I can't drive right now. I'm in front of Chipotle and Chipotle has clouded my um my parking. Girl, I can't I'm not finna park right here. What <laughs> oh, like what is this person doing? Whoever is watching me right now park is cracking up like who are they and why are they driving? We get things situated in our lives um, so much that we, we are able to be more productive than not. We are able to uh, manage our time more than not and um, really navigate the challenges that we face every day with our heads held high. Because I really feel like it can be way too taxing on our relationships on our own confidence and we just got to do better and learning how to change the small things to make a bigger difference in our outlook on life and how we manage how we manage it so with that being said I just want to do better with being a more proactive person who is very conscious of the things around me I want to gain more wisdom while doing it and I just want to give God more time more time than I have been giving him and I just want it to be more of a routine and a, a staple in my everyday life I've kind of tried to make it that um, I've fallen off a couple of days today being one but I really want to make this a better way for me to wake up and like start my day in a brighter light rather than out of frustration because oh my gosh I'm late I must say that when I do read my devotional and I do have that time to like meditate and everything whether it be on the metro or in the car or whatever my day goes way better than it does when I don't I just decided to document this conversation that I was having with myself and God and just thought that the world should know as well like for sure y'all we, we got to do better for she just x out all of this raw the raw um dry lips um dry face unmoisturized at all <laughs> but we here and this is real and uh un raw and uncut you know what i'm saying so <laughs> here we are anyways i must be heading to um i i need to head on to uh to Chipotle because I'm outside and it's about that time to eat. Ooh, girl, she's dry. She's very dry. I got my food, so we can talk a little bit more until we, till I get home. I refuse to be the brain dead millennial who is stuck, always stuck on my phone, and have no idea what is going on around me. I'd rather be more conscious about the things that's around me. I'd rather enjoy what's around me instead of taking a greater liking to whatever it is on my phone. Lately, I have not been out, but um, I think it would be a waste of time nowadays because um, wherever you go, no matter where you go, like you see people just stuck in their phones. Driver in front of me, don't even see a red light turn green because he's too busy texting away or scrolling up and down on his phone. And it's not it's not that deep. Like some things can wait. Really. Granted, I'm on my phone now, like videotaping this, but I am completely alert, which is why you won't get too much eye contact from me. Cause I care about my life. Um I like what I do. <laughs> I like what I do. I like my life and um, I'd rather not be so engulfed in um, social media or whatever than enjoy my surroundings, enjoy what's in front of me. 
I have, I, okay, well, if you're going to speed up, never mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I swear, it's petty drivers everywhere, everywhere. They out here. They out here deep. Um, <sighs> I mean, just completely block my whole, my whole opportunity. I'm going to get over. I know I will. But, like I was saying, 90% of these people at this red light right now are heads and phones. Not even paying attention to what's in front of them. And that's how most of these accidents are being caused these days. Their attention is completely divided from their kids, from their family, from um, their life, period, that's happening in front of them because they're too busy worried about the next ones. We gotta stop. Think about how it was before... Facebook before Instagram before all, everything else that's popping right now like before all of that what were we doing what really made us happy nowadays a lot of people a lot of depressions happening these are not scientific facts but I just feel based on the the information that I have gathered um, and the observations that I have gathered a lot of depression a lot of sadness a lot of hurt pain whatever like all the negative energy most of it is stemmed from internet bullying people constantly comparing themselves to everybody else and their happiness understand that people publicize what they want to publicize the, all the good things they filter out the bad things social media is not real life yo it's not like you're friends with people who you never talk to in person um you hold conversations with them you you like their statuses you don't like what they say in public you don't say hey that was a good idea or great comment or whatever like it's all artificial um not entirely all of it is but some of it is based on real life real life relationships and some of it's not like most of it's not these days it's all um a facade that we can be popping in certain social settings social media is taking up way too much of our time way too much of our lives don't post everything enjoy it stop look at the scenery like some people miss so such beautiful scenery especially on the metro because they in their phones most of the time I would say eight times out of ten, I when it's time when I actually like come from underground and cross the bridge to get to work, bruh, it's beautiful. Like every morning catching that sunset, the foliage is fall right now, the fall foliage going on. Let me get over because y'all tripping and I'm not finna miss this light. The fall foliage, everything, yo, like it's it's picture worthy and a lot of people miss it. Just miss it. Just completely miss it. With that being said, I'm done babbling. I'm home now, and it's time to smash this Chipotle bowl. Trust and believe it is a sad day to be Chipotle. Mark this day in history <laughs> uh, as the death of a chicken fajita salad bowl. Um, yes, please do that. The graveyard for Chipotle, Chipotle bowl debris. <laughs> the bris, right? Anywho, I'm done with my dry skin, my dry face, unmoisturized, all together. Dry everything. I'll dry everything. Do you feel me? So, I, I'm done now. I will go and let you guys tend to your lives. Toodles! <laughs>